channel. My name is Liz Jante. If you don't know, now you know. Since you know, go ahead and subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. This is going to be a highlighting and contouring video, step by step. If you guys like to know how I highlight and contour my face, then just keep watching. Okay, so step one to having your skin prepared for contouring and highlighting, you need to put on your foundation. So before you put on foundation, you need primer. I'm going to be using this black opal primer, and I'm also going to be using the black opal foundation. And I'm just going to put it in my T-zone area. And I don't have a mirror right now. I'm just going to work that in. So next I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to be using the Black Opal True Color Foundation. I will leave my shades and everything that I'm using in the description box for you guys. So I'm just going to add my foundation. That's kind of a lot. Lord, I prefer a brush for foundation because I feel like it gives me more coverage. As you guys like, look at that. Coverage, baby. <laughs> after you have the foundation all over your face I like to keep going back and just blending to be sure that everything is like in place everything is even and you know it just looks good you don't want any streaks or patches or anything so just blend until you're satisfied okay so this looks good to me so I'm gonna move on to highlighting my skin to highlight, I'm actually going to be using two concealers. You do not have to do this. I just want a really bright under eye. So I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer. You guys can see. And I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So first I'm going to go in with the shade closest to my skin. Which is just going to help color correct and highlighting at the same time. I kind of go down on the sides of my nose. It just helps to snatch your nose. And I don't take it any further down or up from where I am now. I'm also going to take this color on my chin and the middle of my forehead. And to blend this out, I'm also going to be using a brush. <laughs> I'm just using this. I already used a brush for my eyebrows, so it's a little dirty. But I'm using this flat top fluffy like brush. And this actually came from Amazon, so it doesn't have a name, but just try to use a brush similar to this. And you just want to pat all of the product in. And make sure you look up so that you get it on your lower eye. Yeah, I get what I'm saying. <laughs> just make sure you look up to blend that out as well. So you just want to blend that in. I'm going to bring it onto my lid as well. I'm not wearing eyeshadow today, but if I was, I would make sure that this is creaseless and set it. Even though I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'm still going to make sure that it doesn't crease much. But you just want to blend it in really nicely and really even. I should zoom that in. Okay. So I already blended out this eye. I was kind of far back when I did it. But now I'm going to show you guys how I blend my other eye. So this eye, I'm just going to blend. I like to start on the outside first. But yeah, I'm going to start on the outside and blend around first before I touch the middle. So I'm just blending. And then I'm going to look up just to make sure I conceal my under eye all the way. Because you don't want any empty spots because it's just going to look patchy and it's not a good look. So just make sure you blend that all the way up under your eye. And then I'm going to bring it onto my lid how I did my other eye. Blend it into my eyebrow highlight. Just so that everything is seamlessly blending together. You don't want any harsh lines. You don't want any creasing. So just take your time. And that's like the best thing that you can do. Alright, so moving on. I kind of creased my forehead. So what I'm going to do is take my foundation brush. And before I blend that um, highlight in, I'm going to go around and get these creases out of my forehead my forehead creases a lot you guys if you've been following me for a while you know that I always have problems with my foundation and stuff creasing on my forehead 
So, so now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. I'm not. I got this from. I want to see CVS. I think I got this brush from CVS, but it's like. You see it's kind of flat when you turn it to the side you turn it this way it's wide you look at it this way it's kind of fluffy but it's not super fluffy and i'm just going to use this to blend on my forehead and my chin and look how even my skin is looking it looks really good so i'm satisfied with that <laughs> What I did under my eyes so far right now is more so color correcting and now I'm going to go in and actually highlight my under eye and I'm going to use this e.l.f. concealer. I like to use something really brightening when I'm um, highlighting but it also depends on the look that I'm going for but now I, want, I really want something bright so I'm just going to put a couple of dots of this under my eyes. I can use some on my forehead and chin as well. And I'm going to get the bridge of my nose. Because I want her snatched, okay? So, this is what we're working with right now. So, that, that's really all that I need with this concealer. It's super full coverage. It's thick, honey. And, yeah, I just really like this concealer. So, I'm going to go in with this brush. And I'm going to let this sit under my eyes for a while and on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to do my chin and my forehead first. The reason why I'm letting that sit is so that it can actually get a little more coverage. And it's just going to look so good and so flawless. And I forgot to color correct around my mouth, but I'm going to skip that. And as you guys notice, I'm not swiping. I'm more so petting the product into place. Where I want it, that's the only place that I'm going to tap. I'm not going to tap anywhere else because it's just going to throw off what I want. And I want this to be right here. You see where it's at. I just want this focused right in the middle of my forehead, on top of my brows, and in between. And this I'm going to blend in with my nose highlight. So that's going to look really good. So next, moving on down, I'm going to get my nose. I kind of like to flick this one just a little bit just to start the... Um, the blend just like that and then I'm gonna go back into my tapping motions and it's okay if this one if this concealer doesn't stay right on the bridge of your nose because you're gonna contour which is going to snatch your nose anyway so don't panic if you end up spreading that too wide on your nose my under eye and again I'm going to look up and just blend as you guys can see, I'm still using that same tapping motion. And I'm also going to come on the side of my nose with this. Just so that everything is nice and seamless. I'm just making sure that everything is nice and even. My forehead has creased again. <sighs> oh, a nice tip. If you end up highlighting your face too light or you don't like something that you did with your highlight, you can come back with your foundation brush and it'll just calm it back down. It won't look so dramatic. It'll look nice and blended. And you won't have anything to worry about. So, this is on to contouring. And I'm going to be using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. And this one, I think the shade is Black Walnut. I think I remember the shade. <laughs> but I'm just going to put it on all the areas that I want to contour. So I'm going to get my jawbone. And you guys, when you're contouring your jaw, you want to make sure that you put your contour higher than where you want it. Because when you blend, it's actually going to move downward some. And you don't want your contour to look like droopy. Because it's just going to make your face look droopy as well. So you just want to make sure that you have contour higher than what you actually want. See, I wouldn't normally contour here. But I'm going to bring it here. Because... It's just going to blend down there anyway. Y'all get what I'm saying. Now I'm just going to contour my forehead, my nose. This is just a little tricky because the stick is just so fat. Okay. And okay. I'm also going to put a little here. Now I have some under my lip. This just makes your bottom lip look a little plumper. So I'm also using a brush to blend out my contour. And I'm going to start on my forehead. So I'm just going to blend this 
backwards as you guys can see I'm pushing it back and I hate that it's getting on my my little thing but it's okay just blend backwards blend towards your hairline when you're blending out your contour so moving on down from the forehead I'm gonna move to my jaws that looks really freaking good when I'm contouring, I don't mind sweeping over my makeup because it blends it better to me. But it's just when you're doing foundation and highlighting that you don't want to sweep too much. Okay. And now for my nose, I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is like, I think this is a dome eyeshadow brush. I got it from like Dollar General or something. But I'm just going to... Blend this contour up under my brow. So I'm done with my cream highlighting and contouring and now I'm gonna move into my powder. You don't wanna set your creases under your eyes, okay? So I'm gonna take that same brush that I had for my um, highlighting and I'm just gonna pet out these freaking creases that came up. And the setting powder that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. To apply my powder, I like to use a damp sponge, and what I like to do is tap my sponge into my powder. And you see I have some on there. And then I like to take the top from my powder and just dab it in there, just like that. I still have a nice amount of powder on my sponge. And then I'm just going to press it under my eyes. Same with my forehead. my chin just anywhere that I highlighted previously those are the places that I want this powder so I'm also going to take this powder and I'm going to clean up my jawline I didn't highlight here but this is like a place where I get a little sweaty or oily so I'm just going to set that I forgot to blend out the contour on my bottom lip but it's just simple just blend it and that's it. I'm going to take this black opal contour kit palette thingy with jig. First, I'm going to take the sculpting shade and I'm going to go around my face with this. Okay, so I did that and now I'm going to go back into the same little palette and I'm going to take the contour shade and I'm going to go over my cheek area. And I like to use really light strokes because you can kind of go overboard on your contour really easily. So I just like to be safe and keep it light. And now for my nose, I'm going to um, go back into that contour, that powder contour, and just clean this up some more. Just make it a little bolder. But nothing crazy because you want it to look natural still. So just be light. Okay, now for my lids that I kind of forgot about, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little powder on those as well. Just gonna work out these creases really quick. And I'm just gonna dip this brush just into the top of that um, loose setting powder and just pat that on my lids, just to set that in place so I won't have to worry about it. Now it's time to dust away the powder all over my face. And when I dust away my powder, I like to use this ColourPop sheer pressed powder to dust it away so I'm gonna take this powder brush here get me some and just start to brush it away and I actually use this powder to set my whole face in the end I just go over everything. This is like a skin tone powder for me. This powder is super sheer, so it's not gonna change the color of your makeup. It's not gonna make you look crazy. It's not gonna add or take away from anything, really. It's just set. Not to blush, if you're a freaking OG, you know what I'm using. Nothing new. And I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. It's like a peachy, 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's cute. <laughs> so when you're applying your blush, it really helps to smile. And at the same time, you don't want to put it right on the apple of your cheeks right here. Because it kind of gives off like a little clownish look sometimes. So you want to actually put it above your contour. So right here is the place that you want. And I like to put it in my temple just a little bit too. I just feel like it gives it more of a seamless type of blend. I also like to put a little blush on my nose and my forehead. So with my nose, I go like this. And then with my forehead, I just go over top of my brows a little bit just to add some color to my skin. So next I'm going to spray my face. Um, I have this setting spray. It's kind of running out this um, Maybelline Master Fix. So after I spray my face, I'm going to take my sponge and pat everything in. And I'm using the clean bottom of my sponge. And this just helps to melt everything together. So after pressing in that setting spray, it's time for highlight. So for highlighter, I'm going to be using this highlighter from this um, Black Radiance. I hope I didn't call this black. For highlight, I'm going to use the same highlight out of this palette. It's super glowy and pretty. And I'm just going to start highlighting. I like to highlight my brows, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And of course my cheekbones. So what I like to do before I do my final steps, which is my mascara and stuff, I like to take this brush again and with my foundation brush and I just go right back over my skin one more time. Just to make sure that everything is like seamless and looks good. So to finish off this look, I'm actually going to add a little bit of mascara. This is the Pretty Vogger Mascara. So I went off camera and I added some mascara and some lip gloss just to finish off the look. And yeah, you guys, like this is it. Like super simple, super cute, super everyday. Like you can do this look so quick. I believe this took me about, I want to say 30 minutes because I was recording. But if I was just to be going just in, this would take me about like 15 to 20. You can wear this anywhere. You can wear it to school. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to court. You can wear it anywhere, baby. Because you're going to look good. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. We're growing slowly but surely. We're going to get there, you guys. Just keep on liking these videos. Keep on subscribing and we're going to get there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.